He saved them. <laughs> hey, good morning, everybody. Hi, everyone. Moss here. <laughs> Judy here. So welcome to Mondays with Moss. We're running a little late, but um, we're here. <laughs> we're, Is that all we can say? No, that no, we're here? I, I think we're late because I don't know about you, Judy. Yeah. But, you know, we're going to Portugal. Okay. We are? Oh, my God. Oh, let me tell you. <laughs> I'm giving a talk in Portugal for um, Healthy Masters on on next weekend. Have and, you been ruminating? Yeah, I've been ruminating. You have? I think I've been ruminating. You know how I know? No, how do you know? I have these ridiculous circular thoughts going oh. over and over again. Not only the thoughts going, am I good enough? I mean, what is Liz Parrish going to think? And <laughs> These people are smarter than me. They're scientists. Yeah. I'm a clinical psychologist running oh, a right. private practice. And how's my topic? Uh, anxiety sucks. Ten ways people make themselves miserable. Mm -hmm. Going to fit into longevity and extended life. It's not your problem. Oh, it's not. You didn't create the program. It's not your problem. It's not my problem. No, that was helpful. You just have to do the best you can with what your presentation is. I can just go with my presentation. That's it. And that's Knowing it. that you're doing the best you can. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the fact that this is like the fourth time you're that you've been asked to do this. You're time. probably going to do okay. Four times, true. <laughs> been, been back four times now. Mm -hmm. But this is the first time I'm going to have a live audience. See? Yeah. So I can get away in the past uh, yeah, three years that. looking at myself behind a podium with no audience. There were people there, but I didn't see them. Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to be in a room of 150, 200 people. You're going to be there. And what if they do? Oh, what if they do? <laughs> what if they leave the room? Oh, God. So I'm ruminating. Mm -hmm. I'm ruminating. What if thing? I'm doing what if thing. Mm -hmm. So here are some questions to consider, okay, about rumination. Okay. Do you get caught up in your upsets and keep rehashing them in your mind over and over again? If I'm ruminating, that's what I do. Yeah, you keep rehashing it. Can't let it go. I used to be a very big ruminator. Oh, you were? How, yeah, how? in my past, I was guilty but of a lot you, of rumination. What would you do? Well, I was thinking instead of taking action. Thinking instead of taking... So ruminators think a lot, but don't take action mm -hmm. much. Okay. It's yeah. not very effective. No, it isn't. No. And mostly, you feel you feel terrible when you do it. You end up feeling bad. When you're ruminating. When you're ruminating. Because yeah. it doesn't take you anywhere, no. except down the rabbit hole. Yeah. I think that's what I've been doing. Oh, I didn't realize. I've been going down a bunch of rabbit holes. Have you? Yeah. I keep pulling you myself out because I have techniques. Because be I have techniques yeah. that will help me pull out, but it's because I'm a, I don't tend to be a ruminator. I know I'm surprised. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what Barry was telling you, but I don't tend to be a ruminator. Mm. So, ruminating for me is something I used to do when I was younger, mm -hmm. when I was more worried about performance and likability and all that. I mean, now basically, for the most part, I don't really care that much, but I was surprised this time the ruminating monster came back. Okay. <laughs> so you were a ruminator. You were good I at used it. to be, I think I used to be a big ruminator. Right. It didn't take me any place good. Okay. Is this an example of ruminating? Mm -hmm. Do you brood when you don't get your own way? I have done that. Brooding. I don't do that anymore. Kind well, I almost always get my way. So <laughs> <laughs> but that's because I think um, I don't expect any, you mm. know, miracles or, or whatever. So, uh -huh. so do you think ruminators brood because they expect they should have gotten what they wanted? Sometimes. And they can't handle the disappointment, so they keep reviewing it. Or they think why. it's unfair. unfair. Especially, I think, mm -hmm. when you think something's occurred that's unfair and you don't feel like you have much power to control it, when in truth, we don't have much power as human beings to control much of anything. No, we really don't. Right? Very limited control. Yeah. So That touches on this question. Do you spend mm -hmm. incessant time worrying over a future outcome? I, I think that's what I was doing. Uh, I think so. I was kind of looking at this talk I'm giving, future outcome, every day. Meaning what? Tick tock, tick tock. You want tock. a standing ovation. I do. <laughs> I know. I do. <laughs> well, maybe you'll get one. Maybe I'll get one. You'll stand. 
Okay. Not if no one else is standing. <laughs> I feel like an idiot. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Oh, so you may be a ruminator if you're doing any things we're talking about. Yeah. So ruminating refers to repetitive, unhealthy thinking. That's hard to stop. Okay. And what makes it unhealthy? Well, it's a survival mechanism that the mind flips into repetitive thinking over and over again. Because it's repetitive. Hoping that something will be different. Hoping okay. your repetitive thinking will change anything. Okay. So let's talk about what can people do if they realize they're yeah. ruminating. I love right? it. First, you have to be aware. You have to catch yourself in that loop. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, uh, I'm thinking the same thing over and over and over. So you have to notice. And I think you have to be aware. Yeah, you have to notice. So the first action you can take, yeah. it's a simple action. Just pay attention to your thinking. Okay. Oh, observe. I'm, I'm, observe. I'm noticing. Like you're kind of watching something happen someplace else. So I'm noticing this kind of thinking. So being aware of what's going on in your mind. Yeah, I don't think anything changes unless you're aware. I would agree. And then you can keep a journal. I often say to my ah. clients who ruminate a lot, keep a journal and write down all your thoughts. I like what you just said before we, we started the, the mm -hmm. broadcast, though, about how would you put it? Then what? Then what? Oh, yes. It's like if, I, if you realize that you're having the same thought over and over again. Uh-huh. Okay. Then... And usually it goes like, oh my God, what if this happens to me? Or right. what if that happens to someone I love? Or yes. whatever. And we never answer the question. Mm. So the question just hangs there, basically, in our mind. And comes up over and over and over because we're not answering oh. it. So one of the things you can do is attempt to answer the question. Oh. All right, what if this should happen? What would I do? Okay. And then if I did this, what might I do? So, Follow it all the way down to the end of the path. Uh, so the, the use me as an example. I have this concern oh, okay. about the talk. Okay, that's great. Go so, ahead. sweetie, I'm, I'm, I think, concerned. I'm ruminating, worrying about my talk okay. next week. What are you worried about? I'm going to worry that, I'm, I'm, I, it's, that the slides aren't going to work, that I won't be able to keep my, my uh, follow my outline. Okay, I, I, what would you do if the slides didn't work? I'll make something up. Okay, you're pretty good at that. Yeah, yeah I can do on that. Your, thinking on your toes, right, right? Right, right, Okay. And let me just ask you something. Yeah. Why would you think you couldn't follow your outline? You'll have it right in front of you. What if I drop all my papers? You'll pick them up. Oh. You have a lot of papers. Oh, I can just down, reach down and pick up. It's just <laughs> exactly. you know, a couple of pieces of paper. Right. Leave yeah. the podium and pick them up. Exactly. Okay, um, what else are you worried about? People not responding. Meaning? What does that mean? Arms crossed, people looking, shaking their heads. So you know, one sort of rule of thumb if you're giving a speech mm -hmm. is you find someone mm -hmm. in your audience, maybe it will mm -hmm. be me depending on where I am, uh -huh, right. who's, it looks interested in what you're speaking exactly. about or who's smiling at you. Good. And speak to that one particular person. Good. So I get that person's visual feedback. Exactly. That he, she is, is enjoying that the That you're talk. doing a good job. Yes. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. okay. Good. Okay. And then I think I'm worried about no one's going to clap. So what? So what if no one claps? What will you do? I'll go in the bathroom and vomit. <laughs> Maybe. But yeah. while you're on the stage, what will you do? I, I think I'll just say thank you for your attention. Exactly. And then walk away. And you'll walk off. Right. Exactly. Okay. So. Oh, good. Did we? Did you yeah. kind of answer the question of well, what then? What then? What then? What, what I then? like about it is like I'm in action. I'm not just worrying and thinking. Right. So action. That's is the thing way. about ruminating. Yeah. It's it's like a dog chasing its tail. Right. It never catches its tail. Okay. Good. 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 And then now, how about I like that? That was very helpful. Oh, good. By the way, thank you. How about, relaxed? I am. I really do. Yeah. <laughs> okay, good. How about this? Another thing you can do to handle your rumination is replace your why is this happening to me? Oh. Now, this, takes a, this is a high level of thinking and observation. Now, I'm, I'm ruminating, but why is it happening to me? But now you get into self pity and victim. But instead of doing that, you can say, what can I do about it? Questions like, Judy, mm -hmm. help me look at Well, what can I do about it if something happens that I don't want to happen? And I did find 
a change in my body sensations. Ah. I felt more relaxed. Oh, this is okay. doable. Exactly. This is doable. I think that's often what happens when people actually answer the question mm -hmm. that they're answering, asking themselves over and over and over and uh -huh. over again. Uh -huh. That's the problem. Right. When right, they right, don't right. answer right. it. Right. Good. So the other thing you can do is to get to distract yourself. Come, you know, break the cycle of the repetitive thinking. Okay. Can you say a little bit more about how, what's uh -huh. an easy way for oh, a person to distract I, I had themselves? a client last week who was dreadfully ruminating over and over again about yeah. what if, what's going to happen, what's going to happen, what's going to happen. And he was really stuck. He was not in the room. He was in his mind. In his so I, I just said, so I stood up. I said, stand up. Come on, stand up. Mm -hmm. He stood up. And I said, when's your birthday? I said, my birthday. I forgot what it was. I said, that's saying happy birthday. He said, it's not my birthday. That's stupid. Uh -huh. I said, I know, I know, I know. We sang happy birthday. Uh -huh. I said, we have to sing it really loud. And we sang happy birthday to him yes. really loud. Yeah. And then he sat down and he said, well, what was that about? I said, well, <laughs> what are you noticing? He says, well, I'm kind of laughing. Uh -huh. I'm thinking you're kind of dumb. <laughs> and uh, it was stupid. Yeah, I said, that's okay. But what are you noticing about your ruminations? He uh -huh. said, I'm not ruminating. Uh, so we kind of broke. Totally distracted him. Totally, totally total distracted. distraction. Some, I have some guys who are very physical. I have them go, uh, go on the floor and do push-ups. Uh huh. Or take a walk outside. So anything that will change yeah. the direction of your of the whatever you're focusing on. Yeah. You want to move to focus on something else. Yeah, because it gives whatever it, it gives that part of your brain mm -hmm. time to say life is not that dreadful. You get out of the rumination uh, quicksand, mm -hmm. and then you can start to move into what can I do? What action can I take? Mm -hmm. And because um, I think the key is take action and see, Act, be willing well, to see what happens. We do know, don't we, that action is the antidote to anxiety. Yeah, I do that. I Pretty know. much any kind of anxiety, right, right. I think you can universally say, right. if you take action on something that right. you're able to, the anxiety diminishes. Right. Action right. gets you out of your mind into the world. I, I like it. That's yeah, good. right. Because the mind. It's a, a terrible place. place to be. It's a terrible place to live. <laughs> that's and true the, about my mind. The rent is very high. <laughs> so anyway, this this was our I think our second yes. session on anxiety sucks. Mm -hmm. Ten ways to make yourself miserable. Last mm -hmm. week we did taking things personally. Oh, yeah. Today we did rumination. Mm -hmm. Let's see what are we going to talk about if we do the next week. Are we going to do next week? I'm not sure. We'll be in Portugal. I'm going to see if we can do it. So, folks, we're going away to okay. Portugal where I'm giving this talk. Well, actually, anxiety sucks. Okay? Ten ways to you make yourself like miserable. I, I like it a lot. In fact, you know, I'm working on the book. Yeah. So, if we can do it, we'll, we'll, we'll do a broadcast. We'll have to do it later in the day, like around 5 or 6 o'clock. Yeah. Okay? On, on Monday. I wouldn't count on it. I wouldn't count on it. So, but I'll keep you guys posted, okay? We will keep you posted. Mm -hmm. So, in the meantime, yes. Stop ruminating. Stop ruminating. <laughs> Do something just, different. Just stop it. <laughs> All right. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great day. Bye bye.